So, the editor of the Citizen newspaper, Daniel Friedman, who is also a comedian on the side, thought it would be hilarious to do a comedy skit mocking the victims of South Africa's horrible farm murders. The footage I'm going to show you of him doing this is nauseatingly appalling to any good person with a little bit of goodness or love in their hearts. But I have to show it to you and you have to share it with all your friends and family because this is the type of people who are editors in our mainstream media and this needs to be exposed. The following comedy skit from Mal Content was created by Daniel Friedman or Deep Fried Man and his co-producer James the Rothschild. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. It's the white genocide. It's the white genocide. Ha, 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 ha. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. I'm glad you find this hilarious. I wonder if the 12-year-old boy who was drowned in boiling water would have also found it hilarious that he had nowhere to run and nowhere to hide, Daniel. I wonder if Art Potgieter, who was stabbed more than 140 times, tortured to death, would have found it funny that he had nowhere to hide. And I wonder if Art's daughter, Willeminki Potgieter, would have found it funny that she had nowhere to run and nowhere to hide when she was dragged by her hair through her dad's blood and her mom's blood and then shot through the head, Daniel. I'm glad these are the type of things that you find it hilarious to do comedy skits about. Before you can say, hey, why the anger? They'll cut your white cock off with the panger and hold it up and say, that's a beauty. I'm gonna take it home and turn it into beauty. I'm not even going to comment on that. Let's leave the rest of the comedy skit for here. For those of you who want to be extremely appalled, I will leave a link in the description to the original clip. So who is this Daniel Friedman? who found this extremely funny. He is currently the Citizen's digital news editor, according to his LinkedIn profile. He is also a comedian and he has his own website, deepfriedman.co.za, on which he advertises that he is available to perform at corporate events, golf days, bar mitzvahs, weddings, and children's parties and funerals. So uh, wouldn't it be funny to have you at my child's party so you can make jokes about my grandparents being tortured to death on their farm, Daniel Friedman? Or well, why don't I organize you to come to their funeral after they were tortured to death? Daniel Friedman is also a journalist at The Citizen who is constantly attacking anyone who goes against the communist narrative or who stands up against farm murders. Some of his best articles include this one titled Afriforum and Co. are the biggest crybabies of all. That is after Julius Mandlema called everyone crybabies who opposed him saying that he's not going to slaughter all white people yet. And of course this gem. Shocking racist memes of South Africa's far right exposed on Discord leaks. And there is an Included picture of myself and Afri Forum's deputy CEO Adams Roots, even though the article did not include a single meme posted by either one of us. Now that's solid and rigorous journalism for you. But I think his comedy is better. I think making fun of far murder victims would be a better life for Mr. Daniel Friedman here than these articles. Maybe they are a little bit below par. Some steps need to be taken here, so I would urge you to, if you are a member of AfriForum, contact them and ask them how they can take steps against this guy and against the citizen, because this is utterly appalling and probably the worst thing that I have ever seen, especially in the wake of Andile Mzitama calling for the murder of all white people, their wives, their children, their dogs and their cats, and our president, Cyril Ramaphosa, saying this black anger is justified because of white lackadaisicalness. Also, I see Steve Hofmeyer started his own organization like Afriforum called Tukomsfunk. I haven't seen much of what they have done yet because they are quite a new organization, but maybe they can show us their guns with this case because this is utterly appalling. Remember to share this video with everyone so everyone can know what's going on at the Citizen News and what their editors like Daniel Friedman are up to. Also be sure to leave a comment to get the ratings on this video up. Goodbye and God bless you.